Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Usually a gaming channel over here at Camo. That's me. But uh, today I got a Discmania mystery box in. Um, I also play a lot of disc golf. So that's why I'm bringing you this video. Um, this is the Rainmaker mystery box. Eagle McMahon, who's a professional disc golfer, put out a new putter with his sponsored uh, manufacturer Discmania and I went ahead and got a mystery box because I like Eagle McMahon and i um, looking at getting some new discs to add to my repertoire so I'm going to open the box up should have some Rainmakers in there um, and some other discs that I don't know what they are yet because it's a mystery box so we're going to get into it nice packaging it's always fun to like open new things. Oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> oh well. All right, that just kind of fell open. Oh, we have a top, a thing on top here. A top, we have a top. Dive into the mystery. Your mystery box goodies lie beneath this little piece of paper. We hope you're as excited to see what you got as we are. Eagle's gift to, to disc golfers. Many claim Eagle McMahon is the best putter out there. For this box, we gave Eagle the opportunity to design the disc of his dreams, the Rainmaker, which I mentioned earlier. And here's what he wanted to say about it. What makes the Rainmaker special to me is the fact that I was heavily involved in the design process. The Rainmaker represents everything I want in a putter. We present to you the world's best putter designed by the world's best putter. That's fair. It's time to make it rain. And there's also a coupon code on here um, to get 20% off my next purchase. As little, as a little surprise, we made you a personal single-use code. Nice. Thank you for purchasing the McMahon Edition Mystery Box. With your purchase, you directly support Eagle McMahon on tour. That's cool. I like Eagle McMahon. He's a great disc golfer. He throws heck of far. And, um, yeah. I don't throw Disc Mania, like, at all. I have mostly Innova and some RPM in my bag, um, but this could get me into some, some Discmania, and that, I think that would be cool. All right, we have a Ooh. this is not there we go. trying to figure out the best way to show the disc. Um, this is an active base sensei, um, which is also a putter. Um, feels kind of pretty grippy. I like that it's fairly shallow. This could be a decent, decent throwing putter. Three three zero one. Um, I like the stamp. I think the stamp's pretty sweet. Could be a decent throwing, decent throwing putter for me or something. Cool. That's pretty cool. Next up, we have an origin. Uh, mid range, five five negative one one a soft exo origin, is what that is. One seventy one grams. This feels r even more grippy than the the sensei, which is doesn't appear to have a weight on it, and that's fine. Yeah, but this mania evolution special edition or this mania origin. Evolution Special Edition. That's pretty sick. I like the color. Um, this could be become a go-to mid for me. Five five negative one one. A little bit more fade back. I currently throw rock threes and mako threes, so this would have a little bit more turn, a little bit more fade, a um, little bit more uh, shot shot shaping than the mako. Um, that pretty much just throws it on the exact line that you release it at. So. Um, yeah, could be fun to throw some hyzer flips with this. Ooh. Got a pretty sick stamp here. This is a, a mentor, 11.5, negative 2, 2. Um, so it's distance driver. Kind of a faster Valkyrie, seems like, or sounds like, um, that I currently throw from Innova. Feels good in the hands. I'm not sure of the 
plastics from Discmania um, and all that stuff. So I'm actually going to pull up their plastics so I can kind of describe them <laughs> a little bit better as I go through this. Discmania plastics. D line, P line, C line, S line, X line, G line, Blizzard, C line. There's so many. Okay, so this is Active Premium. It's, um, so their Dismania Active is the base level plastic. So I'd be like their DX plastic, I guess, um, if we're comparing to. Innova. This is active premium. So more translucent, highly durable. Um, cool. That I might throw a good bit. See if I get used to it. I currently throw lighter destroyers and wraiths for distance. Um, but I could be able to get some, some more turn out of that. What plastic is this? This is XO standard plastic. This is evolution line. XO standard plastic. Two different flexes, soft and hard. So much more grip. Super grippy. Wears gradually. And this is just an active base. So this is their this is their DX. Their base plastic. A little grippier than DX. A um, little bit softer. Feels like. On to the next. <coughs> We have an astronaut. It's a cool stamp with an astronaut on it. Whoa, super flippy. 12, 6, negative 4, 1. Astronaut. Active premium. So, same plastic as the mentor. It's pretty sweet. Is there a weight? Don't see a weight. Did the mentor have a weight? Let's find out. Unless the weights are like hidden somewhere that I'm not used to. The mentor does not have a weight. <clears throat> so two active premiums. I think this is kind of like with their champ champ plastic. I'm not really sure of the difference with their like this mania's plastic and stuff. Like there's the evolution there's the active and there's the original specialty and then the originals like there's so many plastics d line p line c line like i'm used to i know innova has a fair amount of plastics but they're for more like simpler um what's the word simpler like putters specifically like they're like casey pro rock and the KC Pro AVRs and Yeti Pro AVRs and JK Pro AVRs feels a little bit like it's all like a play off of the pro, the pro plastic, but then they have like DX Champ Star, G Star, and Blizzard Champion. So there's like, it feels like there's not as many plastics for Innova than there are Dismania. I know Innova used to essentially manufacture a lot of this mania stuff but now they've separated all right um this is the f uh, an evolution instinct <laughs> i keep saying evolution because it's like the big one big word that's there and this is an instinct 171 grams evolution special edition forge is that the type of plastic plastic <clears throat> It's, mm, yes, Dismania Evolution Specialty Plastic, semi-translucent, high, highly durable, with metallic substance. So this is kind of like a metal flake, I guess. Oh, that's cool. I like this. I like the color of this disc a lot. I think it, I think it pops. Instinct 75702. Oh, okay. So like a, like a slower T, like a T-bird, I guess. Um... But don't more, more domey. This is pretty domey. Might throw that a good bit. Mm, pink. Dismania. 
What is this? This is a hundred and seventy four gram essence. Okay. Don't know what an essence is. Let's look it up. <laughs> I should have done a little bit more research before this, shouldn't I? Oh well. This mania essence. I feel like I hear a lot about the essence. I feel like you hear a lot of people throwing the essence. Also a fairway driver. Eight six negative two one. Okay, a um, little bit flippy. Pretty good for eyes or flips, probably for me. <clears throat> it's max weight one seventy four. What plastics does it come in? Does it say? I don't know what plastic this is. I don't know how to tell. If anyone knows what plastic this is, feel free to reach out and let me know. Some essence, another fairway driver, faster. I should separate these. Distance, distance, fairway. So, so far I got two distance drivers, two fairways, and I made it a putter. Getting down to it. Dismania X out. Is that their like factory seconds? Or there's something wrong with the disc maybe? All right. Uh, 175 grams. An S-Line PD2. I've heard a ton about PD2s, I feel like, as well. Is that a thing? Are they like rare or do lots of people throw them? S-Line PD2 Skyrider. Signature release, Simon Lazat Swirly PD2. What is the PD2? Power driver? Discs. Okay. Oh, so this thing is crazy overstable. Okay. 12.404. Dang. Don't know if I'm going to ever throw this because I'm not, I don't have the arm speed. <laughs> um, but could use it for some hyzer shots or something like that. My dog wants out. There you go, boy. Had the door shut for noise from downstairs. Um, but that's cool. X out PD2. I should look up what Dismania X out is right now, too. Sorry about all of me looking up stuff. I'm just super curious. Okay. So it looks like a lot of people are saying that these are the, the Sky Riders, like misprint Sky Riders or something. That's cool. <coughs> oh. All right. I think we're getting down to the end of it. Ooh. Here's a rainmaker. This is like a I'm kind of color deficit, so this is like a like a purple pink blue combo to me. I might be way off. Prototype Flex 2. I mean, they feel really good. They're a little sticky. I throw Yeti Pros. Um, or I putt with Yeti Pros. So these are a little bit more grippy than I would like them to be. They feel really good though. Rainmaker Creator Series. Reinvent your game. 174 grams. Another. Okay, then there's a little flap at the bottom. With an eagle pin. That's cool. And another disc. Show this to you real quick. See if it focuses in. Sorry, I have to like 
show it right at the light a specific way. Otherwise, it. Oh, there we go. It's pretty sweet. A fully pink Rainmaker. 173. I don't think I'll putt with these. They even like kind of sanded down the little middle piece. That's cool. I think they're just too grippy for me. Even though I threw with star plastic for a while. Put it with star plastic. It's kind of weird. Well, here comes my dog again. Not really sure. Definitely want to try him. See if I want to putt with him. But yeah, so a pretty decent haul. I think the things I'm most excited about. Definitely the I mean the Rainmakers. I think they'll be cool to try out. Um, Prototype Flex Two and Prototype Flex Three. This one this one feels a little grippier. Or am I mistaken? Is that the opposite? They're both pretty hard. Things I'm excited about. The two Rainmakers for sure. It's kind of the purpose of the bag. Oh, I should have even shown you this. It's cool. This mania like little pouch. I'm gonna take that along and do some stuff with it. Um, other things I'm most excited for. I'm excited for the Instinct 7502. See what that does. Um, I throw some Eagles and some um, Thunderbirds. And Leopard 3s. So we'll see where that fits. Um, the Origin. See if that could take over a nice mid-range spot for me. I'm excited for those two discs. And also the, um, the Mentor. The faster, faster uh, Valkyrie. Could be fun to try out. Also has this thick, like, Ninja Star-ish leaf. I don't know what it is. Stamp on it. Snowflake, I guess. Pretty sweet. <clears throat> anyway, that's the haul from Dynamic Discs. What am I saying? Disc Mania. Dynamic Discs is in my head because of all of the pros that are going to Dynamic Discs right now. Disc Mania. Mystery Box. Super cool. Um, glad to support Eagle. That's one of my favorite, um, favorite players on tour. And yeah. Okay, there's just this paper. It says Rainmaker on it. Let's hope that it brings the rain to my game. Well, not not the actual rain, but maybe I'll be able to putt like evil in no time with these bad boys. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about the disc I got down in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe.